right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, fellow pandemonium travelers, this is Seattle Pandemonium Shutdown Day 242 by my count. So, the presidential election last night seemed to be a little bit of a, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say a dud. I want to. I don't want to say a. Uh, what do you What do you call it? A, a smoke screen. A. Yeesh. What happened was, what we were warned about. We were warned about a red, uh, a red mirage or a blue shift. And then we were either warned or. Th well, we were either warned or threatened about a blue shift uh, or a red mirage. And again, here we are in this situation where these various battleground states, they're going to start counting ballots again. And for, for people who, if I have like millennial followers or something that weren't around for the... Uh, the 2000 election with uh, George W. and uh, what was it, John Kerry? My goodness. Uh, they went. They went deep on the election count. They, in Florida, they went down to looking at hanging chads, where when you poke a hole in your ballot. That, that's how they did it, instead of like, like, like circling or uh, inking in the ballot, they uh, poked a hole in it. And in some instances, some of the ballots weren't fully pierced. And so they called it a hanging chad. Oh god, it was a whole thing. And then it went to the Supreme Court, if I remember correctly, and the Supreme Court was like, yeah, these ones don't count or don't or, or stop counting. Like the, the the vote is complete, and people were upset. They were upset, and uh, we're looking at something similar now. Like in Arizona, they've got a, uh, a <laughs> instead of hanging chads, they call it bleeding sharpies. Uh, they use sharpie markers and filled in their ballots and now the leading sharpies might have leaked over into the other cells of the ballot and might have, I don't know, either confused the ballot or de 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 uh, delegitimized the ballot. I don't know. All I know is what's going to happen now is <laughs> that is that uh, oh god so we had the, the the sort of electoral map from last night and now it's going to shift and the shifting of that result in places like Pennsylvania, Virginia, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan will either be viewed as a legitimate representation of the people based on counting the ballots or <sighs> voter fraud. And I don't I don't, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to solve this problem, right? Like, uh, I don't, I don't know how to, it's, it's like people in rooms handling papers either count correctly or they don't. And this seems like it would be simple. However, there are also, the, there's the mail-in ballot problem, and we created the mail-in ballot problem because of COVID, although 
the representation mechanism of our voting system is its own is its own unique problem like we we've our system is not demo, democratic like that is not what it is our system is a republic that is important to keep in mind in that sense it's not a hundred percent reflective of what the population wants, but even if you had a direct democracy, it wouldn't be 100% representative because not everybody would vote or be involved. So, we have our system with the, uh, uh, rep uh, a republic, it's a state representative voting system, and there would be some voter disenfranchisement no matter what you do because some voters don't know, some voters don't care, some voters care but forget because uh, they don't care enough, I guess. Uh, some voters, their their ballots will get lost in the mail. There's, there's some uh, shrinkage just by the physical mechanisms by which we cast our votes. Now you introduce into that intentionality so this is one of the this is one of the things that we are going to have to deal with in the coming days Ew, weeks oh god is so you're still crooked I don't like that um the Trump campaign administration uh basically criticizing the hell out of the um the vote uh the voting mechanisms in various states especially the battleground states like Pennsylvania and this is this is a problem so like Trump was ahead in, like, Georgia and Pennsylvania and Michigan by, like, six figures. Like, 100,000 plus votes. And now today I'm already seeing, like, oh, now Biden's ahead by, like, 20,000 votes. And you're just... I, I... Like, I want the people to be represented... That's, that's, this is, this is why this is a, a good crux. This is a good, um, a good fork is I want the people to be represented, but suddenly you have hundreds of thousands of votes, you know, coming in from mail-in ballots or whatever, and they all go blue. They don't go red. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I live in a deep blue state. My vote doesn't matter. But this election was gonna go exactly the way that I thought that it was gonna go, uh, and the but at, at the federal level across various states, uh, with Joe Biden being the way Joe Biden is, and what um, and his various gaffes and things, I, I just. It, it is suspicious, and it does seem like, uh, it does seem like fuckery. I mean, it, it does. And we're gonna have to, like, we're gonna have to hear about voter fraud and, and whatnot, like, for, God, whatever. it's the same, it's the same thing as the... COVID lockdowns, like, we're gonna, oh god, we're gonna have to hear about this in, in terms, well, in terms of, um, mainstream discourse, we're gonna have to hear about this for basically forever, like, we, there will never not be something connected to this election and the COVID and you know this is this isn't 1880 like we we all know about what is going on and oh god we're all gonna have to like cope with this we're all gonna have to like 
come up with a, we're going to have to figure out how to like live with this. It's, it's kind of just an ambiguity, I guess. I mean, it's just, There will be people who don't accept that Trump lost this election or won this election. And then the question is just, I mean, like last night, basically people protested. I would say they didn't riot. As far as I know, they didn't loot. I'd have to look into it again. Uh, props to them. Go ahead and go ahead and protest all you want. Holy fuck. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks, bud. Yeah, thanks a lot, idiot. This is this is what I live in. I should get out of here. Um. No, but we're uh, if they actually end up with a final tally that they they decide upon, they, whoever they are, um, um, then we might have the, uh, rioting and stuff that, uh, well, I predicted. Well, at the same time, <laughs> it is, it is raining. <laughs> it's 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 very stranger things out here. Uh and if they um I don't know, like if it's like if Biden wins then the rage will be less, but if Trump wins then the rage will be more. Um I saw some clips of things like people rioting around the White House last night, but not in not in a capacity that um, really was concerning, and so that's that's really the it's really the issue. I don't know. I guess we gotta wait for a count and a recount and what everybody is actually gonna do. And yeesh, uh, our our democracy is just a. <laughs> Our representative republic is just the worst, and, like, I think it was a little, it was a little anticlimactic last night, and the, so the battle is going to continue in the courts, and it's going to be, oh, it's just going to be terrible, it's just going to be the worst. Okay, that might be enough from me for, what, a Wednesday? Oh, God in heaven. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.